Hello the Darkness 344 here and in today's video I'll be basically showing off this fairly simple pixel display that I made. So this is an 8x8 screen with a pixel density of well um, one pixel is 2x2 two two, uh, redstone lamps. So for instance if we just activate this one over here as you can see uh, that is one pixel on the display. So this design is um, horizontally expandable. Um, if you try to expand it vertically it will be a bit harder because you have to um, use torches to repeat the the signal and that means you need to actually make the display a bit longer so you can do that but it's a fairly simple display to build and it should hopefully work on both bedrock and java there may be a few issues like with the decoders that you have to fix but it's, it's not exactly the end of the world the actual display should just work so this display is broken down into three parts over here it looks kind of complicated but in reality it's fairly simple so the first part is the actual screen and that's just using redstone lamps and then we have the the screen driver i guess and this allows you to um activate um just one block like this and it will power and it will display four pixels so for instance if we activate this one instead it's going to activate these four pixels so this is where we actually um, input um, our signal to the screen so it's a fairly simple um, quite an old design actually now over here is the latches and these are just simple um, data latches um, set reset latches which you can well either set or reset and it'll allow you to plot pixels and this means that you can plot multiple pixels on the screen without having too much of an issue with like data you have to plot all the pixels every time you want to plot it or something but yeah that's basically what this bit does so now this bit over here is just the inputs for the um well i guess the, the x coordinate so um it's a bit complicated but this just allows you to put an x and a y in and it'll um set or reset the latch well it'll set the latch it won't reset you have to um, when you reset the latch that's basically just clearing the display i haven't got actual functionality to reset a specific pixel so down over here we just have a very simple well two inputs so we have our x and our y so for instance if we put in let's just say the pixel one one and we press plot pixel like that as you can see the pixel one one will be plotted and of course we can plot multiple pixels so let's say well um, two, one, for instance, I should plot the one next to it. There we go. Or say we want to try something else, so two, five, maybe. And as you can see, that plots it there. So it's, it's a fairly simple display, very easy to use. And of course, these can these are just in binary, so um, two, three-bit binary numbers. And technically, you can make a multiplexer to swap between them, so you only have one input. But I've I've just done it as two because it's it's just simpler. So then of course we also have a clear display button which will just clear the display so it's, it's a fairly simple display so around the back we just have these um, towers which allow us to transfer this um well it, it basically allows us to um it's, it's the binary to um decimal decoder so over here we input in binary and we get a decimal output and what these outputs will do is they'll just enable a certain um row on the screen so for instance um let's put in the number um two and as you can see all of the all of row two is activated over here but because um none of the x's are activated yet it's, it's not displaying but then when we put in an x coordinate so say we'll just put in one for now um as you can see this goes disabled which will um when we actually uh activate the plot pixel uh, line um this torch over here will turn off then on again which allows this repeater to turn off then on again which if we go down to where the line is these torches are inputting a zero when this repeater goes well i'm not sure when this repeater over here goes off uh, this line will just become a zero and it should be able to this torch will turn on to a one meaning that we get a pixel plotted so for instance if i just plot one real quick as you can see we get that pixel plotted and if we just leave this on for instance with a torch like that um, it should stay plotted even if we clear it and reset it's gonna plot again because it's just on so and if we go to that specific one which is this torch here as you can see this repeater is the x this repeater is the y um, actually it might be the other way around i think this one's the y and this one's the x but as you can see this resistance uh, repeater is off 
meaning the redstone torch is on, setting the latch. So the latch design is actually very simple. It's It looks a bit complicated, but there's a reason for it. Um, typically on these sort of displays, you see a latch design like this. So redstone uh, like this, for instance. And this is a very simple latch design because it's just, well, you can see how it works. It's all on a two by two area. So it's fairly simple to work and you can stack in all directions, of course. The reason why this latch design is bad is because it's, it has some issues with uh, being synchronous. So for instance, when we activate this one, well, we have to activate it with a pulse, of course. If we activate this one, it's gonna have a slightly different time to activating this one because of the, the repeater. Of course, we can fix this by using two repeaters like that, but that just means the latch is a bit slower um, rather than des the design that I used, which is um, something like this. So um, if we just build it like this, so block block, no rust and dust like this, and this is pretty much the, the, des the design that I used. So um, if we just activate this one, as you can see, it's, it's a fairly simple latch and it, it just, it works. And that's how we display the pixels. So now where would you want to really use this display? So of course you can use it in your computer. Um, let me actually <laughs> remove this. Um, but it's also um, useful for like graph plotting. Like a while ago, I did a, a graph plotting video where I used a similar display type. And yeah, it was, it was quite useful for that. So if you do any sort of um, calculator build, you might want to use one like this. But of course, it's, it's useful for a computer. Um, and the way you'd hook it up typically is just by using IO ports. So maybe you'd use one port for the X, one port for the Y, and another port for like just controlling. So you can send like just different controlling um, pulses down. So the display will like clear or, or plot a pixel. So it would be fairly simple to actually um, hook up to your computer. So yeah, to hook this up to the computer is very simple. You just put these in the IO ports. So if you looked at the video that I did um, a while ago now, I think it was last week, maybe, maybe two weeks ago, um, I showed off this um, IO port thing, controller, I guess. Uh, I don't know what to call it. But as you can see, um, well, on each port, we have an input and an output. And you could just hook up, say, like the X coordinates to one port output, the Y coordinates to another port. And then for like all the control wires, you can hook that up to another port as well. So while it does take up, well, three of the four ports, at least on this computer, um, technically, because there are only um, three bit values, you can do both of them just on one port because this computer is 8 bit. So it would work fine for that which would reduce everything down just to two bits. And of course, because it's eight bit, well, we have these three bits could be the X, these three bits um, could be the Y, and these bits, one of them could be, um, for instance, plot, and the other one could be um, clear display. So um, you can do everything on one port of an eight bit computer, for instance. But yeah, that, that's just this simple display. Um, hope you liked the video. There will be a world download in the description. And on my upcoming um, computer series, where I actually um, build this computer, hopefully, it'll be coming in like maybe several months. I, I don't know how long this computer is going to take to finish. Um, this display will hopefully be part of that series where we just um, build this display and hook it up to computer so we can actually run a couple programs displaying stuff like um, maybe like bouncing balls or something. I, I haven't got a clue what programs I'm going to put on it. But yeah, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'm out.